Basically what we're trying to do is change the world one meal at a time. Cooking is an activity that people do every day and around 3 billion people in the world are reliant on firewood to cook their daily meals. The products that we supply are able to reduce cooking emissions by 80%. Black carbon attributed to cooking is one of the big drivers of climate change. Cooking, particularly in Africa, is one of the main energy uses. And unfortunately, it relates to deforestation, which is one of the other big drivers of climate change. And when you have deforestation, you have desertification coming in, you have a loss of biodiversity, and you have lack of a community's ability to sustain a lifestyle that they've been sustaining for millions of years. So Sunfire Solutions, with this project, is trying to create a mechanism whereby people in informal settlements in and around Johannesburg and also further afield in South Africa have a means of generating an income for themselves and um, have a clean way to cook. The idea with including the bicycle with the cooker is that what we found in places like Soweto, people like to be able to move around. So setting up the solar cooker, is a, it can be taken down again in around 20 minutes, but moving it um, to be where the clients are proved a problem. So we needed some way for the people to be mobile. So they're essentially mobile kitchens because an entrepreneur will be outside a school at two o'clock and then they'll go to a construction site and sell to their market there. People are very excited about the idea. Um, that's, what, that's one of the things that's fantastic actually is to see the response of people that have an opportunity to earn an income. The people just want their food down, just make their fast, as long as the sun is shining. You see now my meat is cooked already. But I just put here now. Most of the people they don't know how it really works because they come, they ask, so where do you connect? What do you do? Where is the fire? And like, oh, the fire is from the sun. Yeah. Just need to use that. At the moment, our people are energy poor. And energy, as we all know, is a driver of growth and change. So that's unavoidable. It's a choice of do we carry on with a dirty energy supply or do we do education and bring in clean energy supply, which actually works out to be much cheaper. We would like to see our first group of entre entrepreneurs really succeed and really come to fruition. We would like to see that they influence their community in Dobsonville, Soweto, that solar energy can work. So first and foremost, we want to see their business do well. And then we would like to see it spreading. I like this because it makes things easier. I, use, I, use, I, I mostly use it when I, when I deliver food for some, those who order, who order food for me. They call me because I have a bag now and I have, you know, my thing is cool now. <laughs> so using this mix of job creation and actually supplying high quality products, at a subsidized price or even at their exact landed price, I think we could create a ripple effect and try to make a real change in the way South Africa and the rest of the continent does things one meal at a time.